Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Blue Marble Science. You know, people keep asking funny questions about the Cavendish experiment. I get people saying things like, but have you tried mashed potatoes and thermonuclear warheads? Well, sorry, I'm fresh out of mashed potatoes. But what about things other than lead? I tell you what, let's just have a little fun. So the question is, are these things here attracted to this stuff? Well, I don't know. Let's take a crack at it. You know, I don't know where people come up with these goofy ideas that the type of mass has something to do with this, but they come up with it anyway. You're looking at Cavendish. The torsion balance is sitting perfectly stationary. Notice that the large masses are in a neutral position right now. Watch the clock. This is sped up by a factor of 20. It goes through about an 18 minute period where we show that the balance is perfectly stable. There's no movement in the laser other than maybe a fraction of a millimeter. The total amount of movement in that 18 minute period is well less than half a millimeter it is a tiny amount so for all intent we could say that the torsion balance is perfectly stationary but now watch what happens uh oh that looks like an eight pack of coke Okay, let's, well, set that right about mm, there. And let's see. Well, we need one on the other side, too, don't we? Come on, come on. We don't have all day. There we go. Put that one over there just like that. Really, really nice. Okay, 717 showing on the clock. Let's speed it up and see what happens. Now, before we go any further, we really ought to have some idea of what we should expect. So going back to my calculation sheet, I changed the large mass to 1100 grams. That's about two and a half pounds. Now that eight pack of Coke actually weighs almost seven pounds, but remember it is very spread out. It's not concentrated. So I just made an educated guess to say that if that were a concentrated mass, it would be the equivalent of about two and a half pounds. And when we do that, we see that what we should be expecting is a laser deflection you see down there on the bottom right of about 1.8 millimeters. So it's not going to move very much, but it should be enough that we should be able to see it move. Let's see what happens. Again, this part of the video has been sped up by a factor of 20, but over about 10 minutes, which is a little over half an oscillation period, you see the laser move about four millimeters. That includes overshoot, of course, and that's pretty close to what we were estimating. But now what happens if we take the coax away and replace it with something else like, eh, Let's say a 20 pound dumbbell. I'll sped this video up so much that it's not going to be very smooth, but I'll put a link in the description to the full length version if you want to spend a couple of hours watching. So now we have the 20 pound dumbbells in place. And let's see what sort of reaction we get out of the torsion balance. And boy, is it dramatic. We get a lot more deflection this way, but remember those barbells are actually sitting very close to the torsion balance just because of their shape. They're about an inch closer in than the large masses were. So now that we've found a, an extreme point using those, I'm just gonna let the torsion balance go through its overshoot. And when it reaches the bottom, the lower extreme, I'll rotate the large lead balls into position and let's see if that has an even bigger effect as it should. So there we go. Large balls are in position and now we watch the laser 
Sorry about the vibration. I accidentally bumped the case with one of those uh, barbells, but that happens from time to time. So there you go. The large masses cause it to deflect another 20 millimeters upscale. So does Coca-Cola attract lead? Oh, you betcha. And it attracts everything else too. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for your support. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down there. Tickle the little bell if you want notifications. Shout out to the patrons and PayPals. I appreciate everything you guys do. And we'll catch you on the next one.